Thanks, Les Concorda. Um, Tarnished, I'd just like to raise again the issue of the elective hospitals across the country, um, Dublin, Cork and Galway. And I suppose a key uh, focus for this government has been um, the delivery of those. And we have had you know, announcements of it, um, multi-million euro announcements. And I suppose the issue we have here is that we just need to get on and actually build them. You know, the crisis we have with trolleys and waiting lists is well documented and these hospitals are a requirement for us to tackle those waiting lists into the future. So can we please get on with the job in hand and actually deliver those hospitals? Um, uh, thanks very much, Deputy. And I'm, I'm a big supporter of the government's plan to uh, build elective hospitals in Dublin, Cork and Galway to reduce waiting lists. Um, taking into account what, Ms. what, what, uh, what Deputy Cueve said earlier, though, I am realistic. Um, these new elective hospitals will be will be five or six years in planning and design and building, and that's not good enough, you know. So I think we need we need interim solutions as well. And um, we already have elective hospitals in the form of Kappa and the Ionir, for example, Croom, uh, which could potentially do more. Um, there's a really successful surgery hub in Tala, which has helped to dramatically reduce it, reduce waiting lists. So I think we need to have a parallel track here. Yes, elective hospitals, but it'll be quite close to 2030 before they're up and running. So I think we need to have uh, um, other solutions as well.